start talking about the idea of independence and you're going to find this in a lot of what you're going to be doing as a drummer. So what this means is that you're going to be doing one thing with one hand while you're trying to do something else with another hand or another foot. And independence comes up a lot in drumming, so we're going to start looking at this now. These exercises are just starting off with two voices. So you can think of this as hi-hat and left hand, or hi-hat right foot, or left hand and right foot, or many different combinations. This is just to get you started and introduce the idea of independence. I'm going to play these six basic exercises and I'll play the hi-hat with the right hand. The first three I'll play with the left hand on the snare and then the last three I'll play with the foot on the bass drum. Try to be aware a little bit of when you're playing crossed over on the hi-hat, you're going to need to get out of the way of yourself a little bit. When you're coming up here, you want to make sure that you're not clicking the sticks together. That's why I make sure that my hi-hat's at a nice level above the snare drum so that i got a little bit of room to move. I don't want to get it too high, but I want to make sure that I'm not going to be clicking my sticks together. Some guys may want to come and just cock out the elbow a little bit so that you're getting out of the way of yourself. But for me, I just make sure that the hi-hat's at a nice, comfortable level above the snare to make sure that I'm not hitting my sticks together. A lot of drummers play open-handed with the left hand leading on the hi-hat, and that can be a great option because you can get a lot of power over here without getting tangled up with yourself crossing over. So you can get a lot of power, and you can also get around the drums a lot if you're staying here with the left hand lead on the hi-hat. So you may want to experiment with that. If it feels comfortable to you, you can try that option for yourself as well. You don't have to limit this to just the hands. You could do this as foot independence, play the X's with the left foot, and play the notes with the right foot. This is something that, again, you can practice away from the kit. You can do this even in the car, riding to school, or you know, as long as you're not driving. And you could play this in any in anywhere that you're sitting still for a moment. <laughs> 